Welcome to Aero News Channel. Like and subscribe to update news around the world. The scandals in Washington, D.C. never seem to cease and are coming out in full view now that we have a non-career politician in office who is a threat to the establishment. President Donald Trump promised to drain the swamp and expose the crooks and thieves that have run this country before him and has been doing just that. Now, we're learning of what's perhaps the biggest Clinton secret yet that the dishonest duo tried to hide, but the truth caught up with them. A former president just accused Clinton of rape because he now feels comfortable enough to make that announcement knowing that Trump is in office who isn't going to let such a damning allegation slide. The storm that hit Haiti and caused a massive amount of destruction to the impoverished island and loss of life was nothing like what ensued after. While the left has been largely focused on Trump allegedly referring to the third world socialist country as a shithole, which, if he did, would be an accurate description, they have completely missed the real issues that have festered in the aftermath of what hit Haiti. Worse than the hurricane hitting was the Clintons who came in behind them with false promises and now accusations of rape. Bill and Hillary took in a lot of money on claims that it was to go to recover this so-called shot hole and risk to war life for the victims. In actuality, they saw an opportunity in a weak nation's tragedy. Lacking all character, they took the cash that could have helped Haitians and instead used it for their own personal interests. We've previously reported of two deaths that came from whistleblowers or charity workers who knew too much. Now, more demise is coming from this horrific situation and what the Clintons forced upon the Haitians. Former Senate President of Haiti, Bernard Sanserik, has come out criticizing Bill and Hillary Clinton for raping and pillaging my beloved Haiti, and is urging President Trump to investigate the financial affairs of the Clinton Foundation, and the gross misappropriations of funds within it. Your Newswire reports. Appearing at an event in Little Haiti, Florida, Donald Trump gave Bernard Sanserik the opportunity to speak about the disastrous impact the Clintons had on Haiti in the aftermath of the 2010 earthquake. Bernard Sanserik did not disappoint. Explaining he has nothing left to lose, he launched into an impassioned speech, detailing how Bill Clinton tried to bribe him, promising he would make him the richest man in Haiti if he used his position as Senate president to assist the Clintons in looting the island of its wealth. Addressing Donald Trump and the Floridian Crown, Bernard Sanserik explained how the Clintons have abused their positions of power and stolen billions of dollars in the process. In February of 1994 I became president of the Senate and I had to deal with the Clinton invasion of Haiti. I was working with American intelligence at that time. Clinton wanted to buy me out. I was hitting very hard on several fronts. To try to appease me he sent Bill Richardson who was a congressman at that time. I spent four hours with Bill Richardson. A week later the American embassy called me to tell me that President Clinton had sent a messenger for me. He did not give me his name. He said Mr. Sanserik you join our movement, you side with Bill Clinton and we'll make you the richest man in Haiti. Sanserik then explained how the Clinton Foundation received billions of dollars from Bill's corporate friends, who in return got preferential treatment in looting the island nation. Then in 2010, after the earthquake in Haiti not only American taxpayers but the whole world has given billions of dollars to the Clinton Foundation for the Haitians. What the Clintons called the world. The thieves at the Clinton Foundation pocketed the money, giving a minuscule percentage to Haiti in its hour of desperate need. Not even 2% of that money went back to Haiti. So Mr. Trump, we are asking you, begging you, the Haitian community will side with you if one day, you ask Hillary Clinton publicly to disclose the audit of all of the money they have stolen from Haiti in 2010 after the earthquake. The Clintons leave such a trail of misconduct that's only bound to catch up with them and has recently it has dot repeatedly since Trump isn't willing to let all these sudden deaths or any other allegations go. The victims of all kind that continues to accumulate around Clintons has reached unprecedented levels. They operate under the mentality that dead men don't talk, which may be the case, but the evidence proves the truth. It's just sickening and ironic that the outrage in the country right now is over a word used to describe Haiti and not the blatant theft from the Clintons who could have fixed it with the funds they raised but chose to keep it for themselves.